Yeah, um, I'm back in my home theater room. Uh, I thought uh, I wanted to do a kind of part two of explaining how I uh, mounted and added my posters on the wall. Um, I was saying in my previous video that you can just buy picture frames um, places like Hobby Lobby, uh, Target, and you can go um, and um, into Target aisle, framing aisle, uh, and your typical movie posters is 24 by 36, and you can add hinges on them uh, if you wanted to put lights. And the works, um, you can uh, get what you call, I use uh, what you call brick, brick mold, molding all the way around to set my base and leave a gap. Make sure you leave a gap around your whole picture because you want those strip lights to, um, to glow. And on my previous video, I opened this, I opened that, so you can see the lights. One is on a sensor, uh, when I open it, and I close it, Spider-Man eyes look like they're lit up, or on. And the part that you don't want to glow, like up under his arms, I did have that taped off. So only the, the eyes look like they was glowing. So you can do it like that. There's all kind of other ways you can do it. But those lights eventually will go back out. Um, yeah. Uh, and it's how, how you set that bar light. You can have it on where the light constantly stays on or it goes out, out of like a timer. I think... It's only like 15 seconds that it will stay on. Um, and um, I explained if you get original posters, uh, some of them are very, very expensive. This one, uh, the one with Catwoman, Holly Berry, uh, original posters, you will have a print on each side of that. Uh, for original posters and the lighting will show up a lot better showing a glimpse at the top of my stairs I got Durango and bad boys uh, posters on those but back to this uh, uh, poster spider-man poster I don't want to leave out, and I left out last time, that you can put magnets, like cabinet magnets, the, uh, for your door, sort of shed it and lock in place. You want to do something like that, and uh, just regular cabinet hinges, and go with strip lights. Uh, right now they're on uh, the blink mode or um, yeah so I got two two of those lights two of those bar lights and I meant to say last time that bottom bar light uh, there's a sort of look like a phone card uh, that you charge up your cell phone but you can hook it up to a HDMI and it charged the, the lights. That's got built-in batteries and it will charge that one. The other one has got rechargeable batteries in it and I recharge so nothing's hardwired. The only thing is hardwired is in my little station here. I hardwired this and ran a cable and I said I was going to eventually uh, 
add um, or do um, I was gonna send that spot there I never got to it but uh, some of these are not plugged in I got two too many fridge that you can put candy bars in and stuff like that it'll hold up to I think six canned drinks it's all how you put them in and uh, down here is my um, I got a slushy machine a snow cone machine and that one on this end is a carbonator it takes a cylinder and you can actually carbonate your drinks or whatever bubble gum machine I got uh, none of the other lights I haven't turned them on I do want to show I always show uh, my rug and the uh, wallpaper that I have or wall vinyl all theater related I don't have that other picture turned on but I kind of wanted to show that and at the top here uh, one of my other projectors is mounted on the wall I'm thinking about getting a third projector got this short though projector here that uh, can be back it can be back about 15 20 inches and still project a hundred and sixty seven inches which is my whole screen onto that screen that's 167 inches and you have to play with the key keystone settings to get it adjusted right so it uh, will show up good on the screen and look everything looks level but uh, if if you ever had a projector you should know about the keystone settings how you set that uh, ain't I'm not going too much walk down the hallway there and show my other posters I will show my one of my favorite posters is the Robocop that uh, I don't have the lights turned on to it uh, that Robocop there and man that's epic it looks really good with the lights blinking and the lights on to that uh, I do have Aquaman and I have uh, the classic uh, Wizard of Oz I actually have that movie in 3D don't have the lights turned on to that just showing uh, showing about my posters uh, my collection of the Disney related popcorn buckets this made a 10 those are collector well it was really hard for me to find it but I found some and there's a set of five and I got all five there but anyway back to this movie posters uh, like I said you had to have a miter box um, saw that comes with the miter box you can get it at Home Depot Lowe's for people that don't know what a miter box is look it up but most people are gonna know and that's how you get to cut these uh, this frame and the uh, base in the right angles that you need and uh, mount it measure everything out before you actually mount your uh, uh, picture frame make sure you get the right measurements if you go with bigger posters they do make bigger posters they do make smaller posters but the typical size is 24 by 36 so and you wanna if you don't have a nail gun use uh, power grips but when you use power grip I want to explain that the first top piece the top piece 
that you cut uh, like right above my picture frame that first piece there that you cut that's going across that's what you want to have level so you need a lever and you level that first piece everything else will fall in place when you put the side piece and the bottom piece on but make sure you cut cut it wide enough that your picture frame will when you mount it you will have a gap all the way around your picture because you want that light to glow that secondary light you want it to glow all the way around your pictures so you can turn on the scrub lights to it and or leave them solid color green always look good with red uh, like spider-man that green color or blue or whatever color you you choose even red uh, or you can just leave it on uh, the, the blink mode uh, like what I got it on now so you can do that um, uh, I got the big popcorn uh, there and that theater popcorn I got a bunch of it over here when I'm down here uh, I don't buy at one time this thing was so full with candy and all kind of snacks uh, well, I can't have all that snack stuff like that no more so, so a lot of it went to waste but I keep it full of popcorn and uh, I had changed this poster here if you watch my other video it, it had Thor uh, Ragnarok but now I went with the Avengers it still had Thor on there but he's with the Avengers and that's what that's the first Avenger movie the classic like I said all of this looks good with the lights turned on and you down here at night and you watching movies well it, it don't have to be at night but when you are down here and all of this looks pretty good so um, yeah I just want to make sure that uh, when you <clears throat> if you're working with a small budget and uh, you're trying to save money but you want that theater room um, yeah this will save you money if you do your posters like this you can save money that way I don't really go to the theater anymore either I purchase my movies through Amazon or somewhere like that or wait for them to hit places like Best Buy and and some sometimes I'll go to some of the uh, use uh, movie sections we have something called disc replay you may have it in your city you may not and I pick up movies uh, that way and I'm still collecting on my 3d category because this projector the one that's on the floor it will play in 3d uh, my other projector even though it's a 4k projector it it can't play in 3d so I don't watch 3d movies all the time but it's nice man when you do movies like the jungle book and uh, certain that new avatar uh, all that looks good in 3d and so but I uh, want to focus back on my restroom uh, got the theater kit bathroom kit for that uh, got my last name uh, I think the next video I'll light that sign up but there's that there's uh, lights behind that sign that uh, will automatically come on if I turn that projector on up at the ceiling projector but yeah going to wrap up this video um, trying to make sure you get everything trying not to leave anything out and I hope this video helped someone that's out there that uh 
trying to put together a theater room, but they don't have the big budgets. I didn't have the big budget. I had to think my way through it, how I wanted to do it, and I came up with a way of doing it. So, uh, in this video, like I said, get hinges to mount regular picture frames, whether you get them from Hobby Lobby or uh, Walmart or wherever. If you get them from Walmart, you probably ain't going to find them with real glass in it, but they got plexiglass. You can leave the plexiglass in it. Uh, or sheets of plastic. Leave that in there and mount your poster with the hinges. Get you some hinges, like cabinet hinges, and get the door magnet for cabinets. Mount all that stuff, and you can uh, add a poster. Like I said, the total cost of this is probably around 40 something but with the materials and adding the actual posters, yeah, I spent about 40 something bucks on each of these. And uh, yeah, so gonna wrap up this video. Hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel, and I want to say, uh, Happy holidays to everyone this past 4th of July, and uh, have a good one. JG, peace out.